Hi there, I'm Georgia. I'm from the chapel in Islington. And today we've got Jack here and we're going to tell you how to do a tapered um, haircut. Now the thing about tapered haircut, as you can see, Jack's got a lot of length through here. He's let it grow for a few months. So basically what a tapered haircut means is that it basically goes in at the sides and it has this kind of shape. Now it can get as long or as short as you possibly want it. Obviously if it goes shorter, it goes really strong. So what I've done for you all to see is Jack's got a little bit of movement around the front as you can see. So hairlines are really important for short haircuts. And the back as well, we're going to get rid of that and taper in a really nice V shape like from the grease kind of haircuts, which I'm going to work with the clippers and you'll be able to see that later as well. Again on the crown, we've disconnected that because Jack's got really bouncy thick hair so I don't want to take that too short either. I'm going to disconnect the back and again control on having that really upside down pyramid shape so we get kind of a long area and that will make this look really tapered and neat. Right, my first section I'm going to take directly over the ear Basically, the reason why I do that is if you start at this side of the angle here, then you have less control. So it's always good to get your length and your angles right over the ear. So if you do go wrong and, it's, and you've started at the front, basically everybody can see. So I'm literally going to take my first section in between the small teeth of my comb. And this is where that you start to taper the hair. We're doing a 45 degree angle you can keep it as long or as short as you possibly want it. If you're going shorter, obviously it's going to be much stronger. So I'm going to start cutting just over the ear. Clean sections at all times, so you're in control of working that shape. So it's important to assess and check the shape that you're cutting. So I'm just doing it really gradually. Once I know how the hair is working for me, then I can go ahead and start creating my shape. And again, the next section, now you might notice that I'm just working to the back of the ear. It's going to be quite curved shape, this as well, because we're working from the ear all the way down to centre back. So we get that really nice point. And remember, as you're getting around the ear, be careful of those ears. Make sure your fingers are in the way of the ear when you're cutting. And you can just see I'm just tapering, clean sections, angling my fingers down towards the head and letting it get a little bit looser as I go up the top of the section. And I'm taking small sections as well. I'm not cutting everything in bulk. I've got my grip and I'm working it and then slowly working it again. I'm not cutting it all in one chop because it won't be clean if you do that. It's really important to have nice clean sections. As you can see, we've got the graduation, the tapering. Once I get the clippers, we're going to do that. So again, we've got shorter to here and then the graduation's building up the longer length so that's what gives it that totally classic shape. The more I go to the back, the more I'm angling my fingers in now to the hairline. Okay, now we've done from the middle of the ear to centre back. You can see it's all building up nicely. Now I'm going to continue from the middle of the ear to the front and this is where we need to do over direction now. We've got more control. I'm literally just going to pull it back ever so slightly. Making sure that we're really tapering it, angling my fingers right in there. And again. Just getting rid of all that loose hair. We're going to use the clippers to make the hair much more stronger around here later on. Can you see that line going shorter? That's exactly what I want. And now we're going to continue 
on the other side, do exactly the same thing, remember to over direct, starting in the middle of the ear and work into the centre back so we get that really nice duck's tail shape. Um, I'm just finishing off Jack's tapering, a uh, bit of scissor over comb, just really, as you can see, I've really defined around the ear and Jack really didn't have a sideboard before and now he's got one, which is a very important part of the barbering for a gent's haircut. You can see it's a really strong shape as well. I'm just going to finish it off with the clippers. Just going to taper the sideburn off. I've really carved out a really round shape around the ear as well, just for strength, because the top is so soft. I wanted to create a really strong line around the hairline. I'm just going to finish off by putting a little bit of gel, extreme hold, just to give it some definition around these areas, the shorter areas, just so you get that really flatness around the shorter areas. You can see the tapering come into life now with the top being a little bit disconnected. It looks really strong and that's how we create a short tapered haircut.